Few people know that before Mount Etna came into being, there was another volcano, the Timpa volcano. It began to develop around a quarter of a million years ago, growing over a period of about 100,000 years into a large shield volcano, running along where Etna's coast is today. Erosion has long removed most of the traces of the timber, but in a few places, the roots of Etna's predecessor can still be seen. Colin Wilkins shows us what we can find at one such place. Okay, we're here at uh, Santa Maria La Scala, just on the coast, on the, on the uh, east coast of Sicily. Above me is an, an ancient Norman tower. We've come to this location because it has very interesting structures within the, within the basalt. You can see here that the, uh, they're organised, there's, there's rather lozenge-shaped or elongate um, lenticular-shaped features here. The margins of the, uh, these lenticles are, are rather platy, but the centres are, are more massive. We see weak columnar jointing in the, in the centres. And we also see uh, that the margins uh, are often uh, quite strongly jointed. Perhaps an appropriate interpretation of this area is uh, that we're, we are actually standing on an ancient location where we had fissure eruptions. Um, if we were in a sub-aqueous situation, we would have um, pillar lavas developed from the fissure, or if we were in a sub-aerial, terrestrial situation, we would have, this would be the source of lava flows.